Two more. Oh my god, that body! <laughs> what was this just hanging out? everybody before this video starts i want to remind everyone that everything you see here was previously streamed live make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when we do go live you can become a member and rewatch any archive broadcast that drastically helps support the channel make sure you also join the discord and follow me on twitter and instagram at am slapped for all updates on the channel enjoy the video oh hang on i wonder if it's upstairs yes that's how you climb that's how you call that's how you climb upstairs everybody uh, Ezio, look at her. Oh. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Oh, that was weird. Ah, there you are. Want to get in some practice? What is this? All just like... But I can still do this stuff, right? Oh no, I don't want to free... No, 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 don't, I don't want to free fight. I don't want to do this. How do I get out of here? Alright, well I'm stuck in it now, I think. Such grace. He just pushed me! Why did he push me? I'm not doing this. Get out of, get out of this. I don't want to do this. Just, no, get out of the... Get out of this training thing. Yes. It's best we take a break. I didn't want to do it to begin with. All right. I got a horse. Gallop away. Are you sure? Yes, I do. I like the picture there. That's a cool picture. Gallop away. I ran over somebody. We just keep following the path. I feel like it's smarter to follow the path. <laughs> Look at all the, the low draw distance and everybody. Jesus Christ. Oh my! Upskirt! Center that! <laughs> hey. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike, Pronti? All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Why is she walking into the gate behind the security? <laughs> oh God, all a taco! All a taco! Select throwing knives, huh? Right there. Oh my God. Ezio's way better than anybody else in fucking... Ezio's way better than everybody in fucking uh, Modern Warfare. <laughs> I love this is this is definitely the security in this game has the same voice actor as a Skyrim guy. Well, he doesn't, but the other ones do. I used to be an adventurer like you, and then I took a uh, knife to the chest. <laughs> I gotta open up the gate, right? Was this hurt? Yeah, it hurt. Well done, Ezio. We're in. This way, man. Oh my God! There's so many of them. There's so many in terms of. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. 
How else to explain all the patrols? A signal we'll again when you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. All and done. What? Shooting his mouth off again. Do we, we gotta take him out? Okay. And so now, we pay the price. I want to assassinate one of them. Or do you want to strike before him like Bernardo was? Oh my god, there's so many. What was that? <laughs> I'm just gonna stay up here and pick him off. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I'm out of knives. Shit. Well, nothing left to do but assassinate. Maybe. Maybe not. Look, don't mind me. I'm coming. There we go. Assassination. Assassination! Assassination! Dude, I'm nailing this. Oh god, they just got to Oh my god, it's 4v1. Assassination. <laughs> that was so awkward. That was such an awkward fight. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> They're just fighting him. I just come along and go. Oh, I can't do it to him. Oh, there, man. Assassination. Well, this is dumb. I'm not even gonna fight him. Those guards don't give a fuck. Oh, who's it? Wait, what? Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Hang on. I've lost control. He's just talking while swinging. What a beast. Oh, shit. Oh, what a kill. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, hey. I can't. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ, game. I was trying to loot this. Nope. Nope. This is not what I was trying to do. I'm just going to drop you in the haystack. Um, don't mind me. Oh, for f okay. Once again, no mind me, I'm just trying to loot this. Thank you. Time to go. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, this is a mess. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now. Is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Okay, cool. I'll go do it then. Uh... Don't mind me. I'm just climbing on the wall. Is he inside here? Oh wait, there's a thing to go around. Hang on. Go around, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around. Where is he up above? Ah, there you are. 
Well, that didn't work like I wanted it to. <laughs> he hit his own buddy there. Nice. Uh, there's, there's a lot of you. Literally just counter anything that comes after me. That's a trick. Just counter anything that comes after me. Counter. Next up. Counter. Counter. Two more. Oh my god, that body! <laughs> what was I just hanging out? <laughs> oh, that was pretty easy. Cool. He's dead. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Cool. What goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. Oh my god, that chick is like complete. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. I thought she was bald. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. Discover the codex page hidden there. Okay. The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be up here like the goddamn... I look like a Left 4 Dead 2 hunter. <clears throat> Nothing to pounce on now. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. 
Each time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo would decode it for us. Then, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Okay, which people have been recording be like, where'd your hat go? Yeah, I just got really itchy. I would take off this shirt too, but I'm not going to. I would love to. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to. I'd do it for a $810 donation. Nothing more, nothing less. Mainly because I want to fix my old hard drive. I'll, I'll do a shirtless stream for 810. That's such a shitty thing to say, but I'm saying it. I'm keeping that in the recording too. 810, baby. Shirtless stream. <laughs> Where do I gotta go? Up here? Why am I going up here? To, to the left? Or up higher? Do I have to go up higher? This is a very confusing thing. I'm on the roof. I don't know where I'm supposed to fucking go. It says the villa's viewpoint. Like, I fucking know where that is. I don't give a fuck about a painting. It's like literally... Oh, it's right there. Oh, I'm just blind. Why are we going up here? It's like, alright, I'm gonna tend these... I'm gonna put these, uh, pages to Leonardo da Vinci. But first, I'm gonna climb this balcony because I feel like climbing the balcony for some reason. We already did this! I gotta take these Codex pages to Leonardo da Vinci, but first I'm gonna climb up to a thing, do some I already did, and then I'm gonna go to Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, we actually don't have the pages yet. Motherfucker. Oh, here's one. Fine, I, I increase your maximum health, or at least that's a good reason. <laughs> Increasing maximum health is a good reason to complete something. At least this gives me a legitimate reason to do things. Increase your maximum health. I mean, I'm probably never going to do it because all I got to do to not die is hit counter a bunch of times. But still, I'm glad that, I'm glad the option's there. I don't know where the next one is. The first two popped up on my map. This last, this next one's like, I don't feel like popping up, my dude. There it is. I see it. Codex, page three. Oh my god, that guy looks like such a homeless man. He looks a bit like a mixture of Michael and Trevor from GTA 5. It has a lot less money on it, though. Why is, why is that clear? Why, what is the frame rate here? Okay. And the last Codex page. I like how I teleported to the right to open that. And a horse, of course. I don't know why there's randomly a horse here. Hey, hey. That way I go. Where's that? Where's that way? Oh, it's inside. Is this the same guy I robbed earlier? No, that one just looks straight up like Michael, not like a Michael Trevor mix. Why'd I go up here? Why is she still praying? She's been the praying nonstop. Jesus. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. What up, fam? Okay. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, <laughs> I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. 
As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Okay. I think we have a lot of money already. Holy shit. I think what we should do, above all else, is we need to increase the city's, uh, city's thing first. The value of the city to make sure people come and then uh then upgrade all the other ones because if we do that let's let's be honest here let's 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 go ahead and make a brothel that's gonna make a lot of people come this way uh let's get a well and we don't have enough for anything else but the bank bank's important all right because i'm thinking if, by the way, this is my mouse. <laughs> Let's put that to the side. Buon viaggio. I'm thinking if we can get the value up, grab... I was talking game. If I can get the value up, grab the money from here. Uh, I don't think there's currently any money because the game won't let me do anything. Then I can go and get better stuff. In my head, that makes sense. Thank you for watching, like the video if you haven't already, subscribe for more content, comment down below, and check the description for links such as the Discord.